Uh, I feel fine. Um, ready to go home. Been here uh, for a couple days now, but I'm ready to go home. Pain's not that bad. Just uh, glad to be alive, and uh, I'd like to thank everybody who helped me. Uh, my fellow firefighters, the hospital's been nothing but great. Um, police helped out a lot, and uh, I'm good. I'm ready to go home and just start recovering. It didn't make any sense. I mean, it, I really at first didn't even realize I was shot, and uh, when it all kicked in, I was just in shock, and I just wanted to uh, just make sure I was all right. It's pretty scary. It could have been a lot worse. I mean, thank God I wasn't that close, and if he, you know, if I actually walked up to the car, it could have been a lot worse. I mean, he had a lot of weapons and a lot of ammunition, and so I'm glad I'm all right. I mean, it just happened to be, you know, a deranged man in our town. It could have been any town. Uh, doesn't mean, you know, it's scary because nobody ever would think that would happen in that community. But uh, everybody's all right, and uh, I'm going home. That's the big thing, and can't complain. So never in a million years did I think that it would uh, ever come to the point where me and my brother were scrambling for safety, just trying to help someone. Uh, well, at first I didn't know it was him. Uh, Chief Tail actually uh, pulled up. I was still back in uh, away from what was going on, and uh, you know it said someone got shot. So I, you know, I didn't think twice in my mind. I just drove up there. And I was like, oh, you know, let me shield the ambulance from the shooter, like, on an angle, because he was on the corner, like, on the front lawn. And uh, as I pulled up, I saw it was my brother on the ground. So that's when it, like, hit me. I jumped out, you know, just picked him up. Chief Taylor, you know, a couple other firefighters, EMS people, picked him up, and uh, we just took off as quick as we could, just get out of there.